Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to another live stream. Today we are going to be taking our first look at, well not the first look because we played the demo a few weeks ago, but we are going to be taking an early look at the early access of Lightyear Frontier, which releases in early access on Steam on March 19th. But they sent it to me a little bit early so I could check it out with you guys. So that is pretty good. And I'm so excited for this game. I've been looking forward to it. I really enjoyed the demo. So I'm looking forward to playing the game with you guys and see how it is. By the way, this stream is available on YouTube and Twitch. So feel free to watch on your favorite platform. And I'm sorry, I put the wrong date first on YouTube. But I put March 16th. So maybe a lot of people are going to be... Maybe waiting until tomorrow and then miss this stream and or maybe I don't know. So I'm sorry if it caused any confusion. I'm sorry for the confusion, but um, yeah, it's today. It's today. So we're checking out this game today and then March 19th. This will release and then the Stardew Valley 1.6 update is going to release as well. So it's going to be a very exciting week. So, yeah, I hope everybody's doing good so far. We have Migi Shikako, Take a Chance, Fill In, and Lele on Twitch. I hope you guys are doing on Twitch. And on YouTube, we have Farm, we have Migi again, Peppermints, HiJ, Rivka. So many members today. Pika, I hope you're doing good. Separation. I thought the demo was pretty boring. I hope early access version is better. So, I actually played it a little bit yesterday. Um... So far, it's pretty similar to the demo, but there's more content. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll go into it very soon. Aesthetically, I'm not super interested in the big machines with farming, but I've heard good things. Yeah, I really enjoyed I really enjoyed the, what I've played of it so far. Josh, I hope you're having an amazing day. Connor, thank you so much. I, I'm, I have a busy, kind of busy day today, but it's so far so good. Yeah, I got a Twitch notification, but the YouTube room says it is scheduled for tomorrow. Yeah, I set it for the wrong date on YouTube, but now, now, now we're here. So let's check out that game. I can't wait for 1.6, I reckon. It's going to help your channel grow even more with the content. I was hoping so. I, I would hope so. I was originally like wanting to do a lot of Stardew Valley content next week, but the problem is I'm going to PAX East. In Boston, so I'm going away. I, I don't know why the game is not showing now. I swear I was working earlier. I'm gonna be gone for one week. Uh, okay, let me check something. Uh, let me just fix something. Sorry, I know you guys are not seeing the game. I'm working on that. Yeah, I'm going to be gone for like pretty much the whole week next week. So I feel like I'm not going to be able to do much with 1.6. I'm going to stream it on the 19th. But okay, let me. Okay, now. Okay. Okay, there's one weird thing. So I used to like. Because I want to record the. I used to like run OBS twice, like one to record the stream. One for the stream, and then usually I open another one and I remove my face just so I can record the gameplay. And I used to be able to do that and it was working fine. But now when I try to do it, when I try to do it now, it's not, the game doesn't show properly. It's kind of weird because it used to be fine. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. But... Okay. All right. Well. We are here now. All right, so I've been playing this game. Uh, if you've played the demo, the progress doesn't save. So even though I played the demo for like maybe two hours, or was it maybe three hours? I played the demo for quite some time, but yeah, I had to start over. So your, your progress doesn't save. So I just started over. So you guys could see something new today. I play Stardew on the Switch, so I gotta wait for 1.6. Oh yeah, hopefully it's not gonna take too much longer, right? I live in Boston, but not going to PAX East this year, unfortunately. 
Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I hope you get the chance. <laughs> I hope you had the chance to either go in the past or you get the chance to go in the future. Yeah, I went to PAX West one time, but it's gonna be my first time, a first time in Boston. All right, so now uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, see if I can. Uh, I know I need to upgrade my tools. So let me see what I need to upgrade my tools. By the way, guys, feel free to leave a like on the stream if you're excited for this game. That helps a lot. Uh, yeah, I need to upgrade my vacuum harvester. And I need to make some carrot oil. So I think I just need to grow some more carrots. So I think we're going to expand our fields. I think we're going to start with that. Because, yeah. That's what we got to do. By the way, I love the game. This I love the way this game looks. Especially like when it rains. And you have like water on your on your mech this is very exciting to watch hi Ron. lisa nice to see you i hope you're doing good i hope you'll play it again with the public release i'd like to sell multiplayer works yeah definitely as i said next week is gonna be kind of i'm not gonna be there too much but maybe the week after we can play some multiplayer i need wood Okay, I don't have a lot of wood, so you know what? I'm gonna put stuff away. Let's put a lot of things away. And let's just gather some material. So in this game, you have multiple tools, right? So you have things to plant seeds. You have a gun to water. You have a vacuum to grab some stuff. And you have this one is like a pickaxe and a saw. So we're gonna go gather some wood. I played Graveyard Keeper inside one of the coffins they had at their display. Was great. Oh my gosh, that's nice. They had a nice themed. It's always fun. That's one thing I love at PAX. Like just seeing all the boots and like all the displays sometimes. Like last year, the Fae Farm one was really nice. They, they made like a like a little farm and there was like a little campfire and it was so cozy and nice. Yeah, it's nice to see what, what some of these developers do. Uh, I recall the inventory felt pretty limited. Yeah, but you you can upgrade it. So it is very so you start with like 60 kilo, but now I'm at 90. So yeah, you can you can upgrade your inventory, but at first it is pretty small. The good thing though is that even it is even though it is small, like you're gonna walk slower and like you cannot jump if your inventory is full, but you can still like carry stuff like overweight, right? You know which games will be present? I hope we see some farming games. Yeah, I was looking. I've been receiving like a lot of invitation and like I, I saw the list of developers and everything. But honestly, there's not that many. <laughs> there's not that many games at PAX East that I'm excited for. I think that's the big difference with like last year when I was at PAX West. There were so many games I was excited for. I know this time Snacko is going to be there, but I mean, I've already played Snacko. Like... I don't know what else. I don't know, maybe I can try the Switch version, I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, I've already played that game. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's a bunch of farm. There, I don't think there's a lot of farming games. Hi, Miss Fang, nice to see you. Is this your file from the demo? No, you do have to start a new file. So I played a little bit yesterday, just so you guys don't have to see the same, the same exact thing. Just so we don't have the same stream as last time, you know, I wanted to show different things. So I played a little bit yesterday. And now it's night time, right? So let's sleep so it can be like sunny. Yeah, let's go sleep a little bit. I hope you'll have a good time regardless of the game. Thank you. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. I'm just kind of stressed because like... Yeah, I was just kind of hoping to make like more Stardew Valley 1.6 stuff and like... I feel like I'm going to, I feel like a lot of stuff is going to happen <laughs> when I'm gone, but yeah, I'm excited for it though. All right, let's sleep in our tiny house. Everything looks so tiny because they're always in this mech. I mean, not always, you can't go out, but there's not too much reasons to go out. Surprised I didn't get a founder's badge. Yeah, you missed it. It was the 10 first people. You were probably very, probably just a little bit after. 
Oh, by the way, that, you guys hear the game sounds fine. It'd be fun to meet the developers for sure. It was a lovely time to meet the devs. Like what happened for uh, Plum Grove, right? Yeah, I think. Maybe I'm gonna meet the Snackle devs, and I don't know if I can like make a video on it or something. I don't know. I don't know yet. All right, so we're gonna water our crops. Also, at first, your watering thing, you gotta refill it all the time. It doesn't have like a big, it doesn't have a big um, tank. All right, so house now. Yeah, you start with the old tent at first, and then you can make a little house. You can keep the tent, but I think the house gives you more like cozy points. If you decorate, basically, the more you decorate, the you unlock like perks. I can show you after I'm done. It was the same in the demo, actually. Even in the demo, I could have a house. You could have a house. Got it. Get some more water. Is it blurry for anyone else? Oh, is it blurry on YouTube? Doesn't look blurry on my end. Uh, homie B, nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. What day will you be back? I know you'll be back before the release of Omega Craft. So I come back on the 26th or 25, 26, I forgot. I think it ends on the 24th, so probably on the 25. Yeah, and then. Yeah, I'm gonna have lots of stuff to catch up on and then on the 29 we can play some Omega Crafter So that's gonna be That's gonna be fun Looking forward to that And All right, so now yeah, so as I was saying if you decorate your house You get like coziness the more decoration you put around it And so now I have an, a chance to find additional resources and then later I can have animals have a chance to dig up additional resources when fed so, I've not fed too many animals, but yeah, I think they can find resources for you when you feed them. Here we've got a merchant. This one shows up like every few days. And you can sell things, you can buy. I think they made the stuff more expensive. I remember in the demo, I was able to buy everything so easily. I think they made it more expensive. Or maybe it's just that I don't want to sell everything now because in the demo, I didn't mind selling everything. But now... Because there was not too much to craft, but now I gotta keep my resources in this one. Uh, Alright, so let's make some carrot oil. And Oh yeah, so I want to make more fields. And I think I just unlocked these bigger fields. Oh yeah, I need clay. So to make clay... Because these fields, these little 3x3, three they're three, actually really small. Um, so to make clay... I first need stone. Oh, I have some clay here. Yes, you need stone. And then you put the stone in the grinder. So I don't think you could have the grinder in the, um, in the demo. Yeah, there's a few more machines. And then, and then, and then you put Magic Mango subscribed to Prime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mango. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much on Twitch. Uh, how does it... <clears throat> sorry. What's happening? How does it look like on the phone? I did not know. There's a Twitch mobile app. Ooh. I never watched Twitch on mobile, no. Uh, yeah, guys. Feel free to watch on Twitch if you prefer watching on there. I can't subscribe via Prime yet. No PC at the moment and mobile on... Oh, can you not subscribe? on the mobile with your prime subscription so yeah i gotta wait for my stone dust then i can make clay then i'm gonna make some bigger fields because these fields are like just way too small uh but maybe i can plant a few seeds oh we got a hype train on chat can i coach your 100 bits it's our second hype train guys so many so many trains on chat we're gonna we're gonna need some nice oh my gosh i think I'm so sorry, I think I forgot 
Yeah, not the alerts. The alerts are here. They were not there. They were not visible. I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah, we got a hype train on Twitch. Uh, all right, let me just put things away. Yeah, when you're over encumbered, when you have, to, when you carry too much stuff, you can still walk. It's just kind of slower, and you can't jump. All right, so now I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to go find some carrot seeds because I'm going to have to plant more. So the seeds are in, if I, yeah, yeah, you can see on the top right. Yeah, carrot here. So I'm going to go find some wild, some wild seeds that we can plant. Hi, Sheena. I hope you're doing good. Hype train. Let's go. Yes. These are so fun. Now uh, you would have to use PC to use the prime. Oh, I see. Yeah, it is weird. It's kind of like how on YouTube, the YouTube membership. Oh, maybe it's for the same reason, actually. I don't, oh, maybe not, actually. I don't know. Because I know on the YouTube membership, uh, you cannot do it on mobile, on iOS. Because I think Apple takes like a big cut, so they make it like just desktop, on Android or desktop only. Miggy gave out one community sub gift. Thank you so much, Miggy. 68. We're almost at a hype train level 2. Ooh, Miss Fang gifted one sub. Thank you so much. And we have a goal today of 25 subs on Twitch. Well, today. It's a overall goal. Overall goal. Welcome to Petra Petranica and Clean. Um... It's so about Apple taking cut that I understand. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, I gotta find my carrots. I think I'm going in the wrong. Oh, maybe not. No, I think over there I can find some actually. Oh, level two hype train. Nice, nice, nice. When does the game release? It releases on March 19th. So in a few days. If, for instance, you use Apple phones, it goes through Apple Pay, which is also annoying because I don't want to use that, so I have to pull it up on Safari. Yeah, I guess, yeah, maybe because, yeah, they, they want you to use Apple Pay, I guess, to for the cut. I don't know. Are you going to customize the badges for subscribers? It'd be cool to have our turnip. Yeah, I will customize. I would love to customize the badges on Twitch as well in the future. I just need to figure out... Um... Yeah, because I have the turnips as emotes now on Twitch. And also, I think on Twitch, there's like a lot more badges that you can have than on YouTube. So I think I'm wondering if I should like make more or if I should like, I, I'm still like thinking about it. But yeah, it would be nice to have. It would be nice to have the badges. And there's like so many different badges too on Twitch. So I'm a little bit still work, still working on it. But <clears throat> sorry, still working on it. Uh, okay, so the carrots are not here, and I need to upgrade my watering before I can get rid of those slimes. Uh, so, all right, let's find those carrots. You should definitely make more badges and emotes. You get a lot on Twitch. Yeah. Well, on YouTube, you can have a lot of, uh, you can have a lot of emotes as well. But, yeah, on, on YouTube, the, the badges are a bit more, like, limited. I mean, it's still pretty good. But, yeah, there's a lot more on Twitch. So. I wonder what these eggs are for. I've never seen those. I don't know if they're just, like, decor. Or can I... Eggs. No, I think they're, I think they're like, interactable in a way. Oops, I really like the graphics and colors. Of, yeah, I really love how this game looks. Oops. Sometimes... Oops. <laughs> Sometimes the only thing is that I wish your mech was a little bit faster. And I know later there's a way to upgrade your like your jet so you can like fly higher. But yeah, he's a little bit clumsy, right? It's not it's not a hiking robot. So it, it's it's kind of hard sometimes to explore certain areas. And you can make them animated. Yeah, right? Yeah, you can have animated emotes on Twitch. So, eventually, as we grow on Twitch, 
is gonna be maybe we'll have some animated stuff fancier stuff um yeah okay so i need to go up there oh i'm going the wrong way okay let's try to pick up those eggs see if there's anything we can do with those i think there's more oh Maybe I can't. You know what? Maybe I cannot reach those eggs. Wait, where are the eggs? Oh, they're there. I was going the wrong way again. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way. I don't know if you can do anything with those eggs. Ah! Whoa there. Oh, follower gold met on Twitch, 330. Okay, let me drink some water, mate. <clears throat> I feel like I'm sounding weird. Okay, let me update our goal on Twitch. Let me update that. And it's cool. Let's do 375. Switch over to my Twitch account, carry from YouTube. Oh, I've trained complete, level two. We did the level two train, guys. Thank you so much. Good job, good job. Did you sleep well last night? Hope you're not catching. No, I'm not catching a call. It's just early for me. So like my voice in the morning is always kind of like that. Um, yeah. I just need to drink some more water, but I'm not catching a cold. No, I went to bed pretty early, but then I I woke up. I woke up around nine. I got ready for this and then. Yeah, I, I didn't talk or anything right in the morning, so that's why. I didn't like warm up my throat or anything. So, okay, I can remove some of these weeds. So pretty much in this game, if you've played the demo, you know. But you have to clear like different areas, so you know you have to like remove weeds and slime. And yeah, like these bigger slimes, I can't remove them because I need to upgrade my, I need to upgrade my watering gun first. Shozi, nice to see you on Twitch. Hope you're doing good. Uh, I couldn't watch the sunny side stream live, so I watch it later. I laughed so hard at the bicycle glitches. Actually, kind of makes me want to buy the game even though I really wasn't planning on it. Yeah, honestly, it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. We had a lot of fun, but the, that's definitely the most memorable part. Even though it was not like voluntary, it was not like intentional for the developers. But I think the bike, <laughs> the glitches with the bike were definitely one of the most fun, fun things. But other than that, it's still a fun game though. Even even outside outside of that. Yeah, and we had some pretty good good memes with that on Discord. I hope the developers will keep the ragdoll glitches. Yeah, well, I think what they said is that um, actually they they were they didn't think they would be able to fix. They think they won't be able to fix it, so I think they want to fix it, but they won't be able to. Okay, I need to find my carrots. Uh, I need to go back. I've been like just going everywhere. I need to go back to my. Marker. I still think you should try Supermarket Simulator. It had a big update. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of people playing that game, recommending it. So I would love to try it. So maybe next, since I'm gonna be gone next week, uh, maybe the wait, maybe in two weeks, we could try it. But yeah, I've been really curious about it. Like usually I don't play those kind of simulator games too much. But those kind of like realistic simulator games. But a lot of people have been talking about it. Apparently, apparently it's pretty fun, so I could give it a try. I don't think that was a good idea. Oops. Not too bad. Yeah, you can't die in this game. There's no there's no health. There's no combat also, so it's very cozy. It's very peaceful. Uh, 
The only thing you will fight sometimes, sometimes you'll have weeds kind of attacking your farm and like trying to destroy your crops. So you just need to like suck up the weeds before they land on your on your fields. But there's no like there's no like real big dangers outside of that. So it's pretty pretty chill. This game will be one for my husband and me. He enjoys the mix and automation. I love farming and exploring. That is so cool. Honestly, and yeah, this game will have multiplayer up to four players. So it's going to be a great game to play with someone. I don't know if there's really automate. I've not seen like automation so far. I love automation in games, but I've not seen it yet. Uh, Sometimes it's hard to find those resources. Okay, one thing, one piece of feedback I would have for the developers if anyone's watching. Like, you can put markers, but I wish you could put, like, you can only have one marker. I wish you could put, like, custom markers. Because sometimes, even though the map kind of tells you which resources you can find in that area, I'm always strong. Like, I want to put, like, exact points where to find, like, ores and seeds. Because I'm always... I'm always just like getting lost and not, not finding my stuff. I usually don't like how those similar to games look, but the gameplay wise are often very fun. I love House Flipper and Power Watch Simulator. Yeah, House Flipper is pretty fun. But yeah, I was not a big fan of like graphics and House Flipper. Okay, here here are the carrots. So this this just gives you the seeds. But that's what I need because I wanna I wanna farm some more. Yeah, I was saying, I don't know if there's automation in that game, or maybe it's, it comes later. I've not seen it yet. All right, we've got 13 seeds. Hi, Ninja. Nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome. Um, all right, we've got 13 seeds. It's not too bad, but I'm hoping... Yeah, I think this biome... Oops. Since the slime is still here, I don't think there's gonna be any seeds here. Josh, don't tell my husband. I won't tell him. I won't tell him, but I'm also kind of like, kind of like him. I love automation and I was hoping, I was, I was feeling like there was gonna be automation in that game. And yeah, so far, so far there's none of that, but maybe later. Yeah. All right, so let's go home. It's so easy to get lost. One thing I wish, I think I saw in the tour, I'm not too sure. I wish you could have like transformers, you know, like have wheels or something. Because you feel very slow and heavy all the time. So I wish, yeah, I want to have wheels and like roll around, drive around. That's the only only thing it's kind of like yeah you just feel very heavy you can i wonder if it's oh by the way you can sprint i always forget to do that yeah i don't know if it's already in the game though in the current build of the early access oh, yeah. or i don't know yeah there's a bunch of them littered around the planet never did figure out who left them moving in that mix feels so clunky yeah exactly oh oh day 13. it is it is kind of clunky Oh, it's raining now. Why don't we try and plant some seeds today, huh? Always good to have more crops in the heart. Yeah, and it's raining, so it's a good day to plant. Can you guys hear the voice? Fine. She's like narrating. There's like this little robot companion or like voice. I don't know where she comes from, but there's this voice. Uh, does anyone know if uh, this has controller support? I would assume so. Let me try to plug in a con. I would assume this kind of game probably has a controller support. I think it's being developed by like, it's like a Microsoft Studio or something. Yeah, it has. Yeah, it has controller support. I prefer to play with mouse and keyboard. I'm gonna play with mouse and keyboard for today. But yeah, just plug it in controller and it, it worked. So there is controller support. Shay, nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Hello everyone. Thanks to whoever gifted me this sub, uh, Reina. I'm not too sure when that happened, but we had lots of gifted sub recently, so welcome in. Nice to have you. All right, so now I think, I think 
this should be uh, yeah I got some stone dust so I think I should be able to make some clay and then a little bit of clay so this is instant some of the crafting is instant some of depending on the machine some of them you have to wait so that grows 25 plants so that's pretty nice we're gonna put that here and one thing i love is that you can make like you can place which is going to be really nice for multiplayer i feel like you can place blueprints we can make good use of this. so you can kind of like plan your whole farm and then you can build later right kind of like in grounded is it in grounded that does the similar mechanic so you can put i don't know if i want them to be that close to each other i don't know so you can do that it looks kind of messy right now anyway you can do that and then you build them one by one and you can put the you can put the resources that you have like even if you don't have everything right you can still put the wood and the fibers and i'm, I'm just gonna need the clay so that's good one thing i'm not sure when i'm planting seeds i'm not too sure how i can choose the seeds that i'm planting okay all right so i planted my carrots and i'm gonna harvest my other things and you get seeds too when you harvest stuff so you don't have to like go gather seeds every time this aiming like you can aim like and like select multiple things to like shoot your seeds this reminds me of like in Sonic Adventure 2 you know when you do the mech phases with like Eggman and Tails it can like select multiple enemies and then it just shoots everywhere it kind of reminds me of that it's another wheel you pull up yeah I don't know I'm trying to I was trying to find what how to select which seeds I'm planting and I'm not too sure how to do it would be cool if you could leave the mech, but that mech has special features such as planting faster, hoarding more items. Yeah, I mean, you can leave the mech. But there's really not... It makes you feel so small. <laughs> it makes you feel so small. I don't know if the proportions, like that thing looks so big. I don't know, the proportions feel off a little bit. Uh, but... Uh, that you can't really do anything the only thing you can do uh you can paint oh yeah let me show you that's one thing you cannot do in your mech like those chests are like way too big for a human right i don't know yeah you can paint so i have some red paint so you can like change change the color of stuff like that so that's pretty nice like every little machine every everything you basically can customize so there's gonna be different i can change the color of my house this oh oh that maybe that's a bug yeah maybe that one is bugged because it's not changing but you can change the color of most 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 things If it makes sense if you think about the fact that the Mac has to operate those items. That's true. Yeah, that is true. Oh, you can change the colors of the chest. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, because you can't, like, rename them, right? So it's nice to, like, know, like, kind of separate them a little bit. All right. So now... Now we planted some more crop. Oh yeah, let's make some oil with whatever we collected. Oh, I put everything in the chest. Uh, carrot seeds. Actually, I'm gonna plant some more carrots. Polyberry. We can make oils with that. So my goal right now is to make carrot oil. All right, whatever oils I can make. Yeah, I'm gonna start to like my chests are really messy right now and I feel like it's gonna be I feel like it's gonna be a problem.
Bodyberry oil. And yeah, so I think tomorrow, tomorrow I should have some crops and I have some, I have a few extra seeds, right? Yeah, so right now I'm trying to change. Oops. I'm trying to select my seeds. I'm not too sure. How? Because it selects the polyberries first. Shay, you've been a member for 13 months. Thank you. I hope you're doing good, by the way. I know you've been sick. I got Sunhaven again. I'm definitely buying that. Um, hello, just arrived. So curious about this game. Is this too heavy on the graphics? I don't know. It looks really pretty. I mean, on my PC, it's fine. I don't know. Mm, let's see if there's... It seems like there's quite a few... Um, oh, I'm not even, like, everything maxed. I mean, on my PC, it's fine. It's hard to judge. You should check the steam requirements the requirements on steam the specs requirements but it's been it's been running fine for me i think miggy was able to play it and he has a lower like older pc right i think some of you guys have played the demo in the past and you're like that you know if you've played the demo and how it ran if you had like an older pc Finally starting to feel better. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Let's get some stones. Also, there's not too much of a story. I don't know if they're planning, like, basically just crash on this planet and you restore it. But it's not very story driven. Oh, the merchant's going away. Uh, all right, so. Let's make some more oils. Let's see if there's any other upgrade I could get right now. Oh, the demo is still there right now. So if the demo is still there, I, yeah, definitely check out the demo beforehand. Just keep in mind, I don't think you'll be able to keep your, your save file from the demo because I wasn't able to keep mine. Uh, sprint speed. Oh, that would be nice. Thruster booster to jump higher. That would be nice too. Path maker to make paths. That would be nice. Yeah, I don't see any, like, wheels or, like, something to, like, actually move faster, but... Uh, yeah, let me try to make the path maker. So, I need five aluminum electronics, four aluminum frames, and nine polyberry oil. So, the oil is fine. It's processing right now. So, let's find aluminum parts, and we're gonna fix up, pick up some more aluminum. Uh, frame... I got my polyberry oil here. And Every time I see the oils, I always feel like it's like a laundry detergent. I don't know, it looks like a... <laughs> I don't know, I always feel like it's laundry detergent more than oil. Uh, I forgot what else do I need. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, one more frame. Uh, oh, aluminum electronics, not electronic parts. Okay, one more frame. And aluminum electronics. So I need aluminum rods and I need copper wire. Uh, it's like Sunnyside demo where we have to play in one go each time. I'm sure you can. I think you can save in the demo. Can you not? I'm pretty sure you can. How is the Stardew Orchestra? I saw there was a proposal. Yeah, yesterday I went to the Stardew Valley concert. That was so good. Obviously, the music was great. I did not recognize all of the tracks because I'm not like... I mean, I've played Stardew Valley, but I, I could not like <laughs> recognize every single track. But the music was really beautiful. It was really nice. 
And yeah, there was a proposal at one point. They were talking about how like so many people connected through the game and like met each other through the game. And then at one point he said, like the organizer or like host. And then you need your mech to like grab stuff. Yeah, and then said someone in the crowd had an announcement and like that guy stood up and proposed to his girlfriend. That was so cute. I wanted to cry. That was really, really cute. Yeah, so I think that was the highlight. But like, the music was really good. It lasted like two hours or something. But yeah, it's fun. It looks like it, it really does look like a detergent container. Yeah, in the sunny side demo, you cannot save. But in, in this one, I'm pretty sure you can save in, in this demo here. Um, yeah, it was really fun. I think the merch was a bit disappointing. Like, at first, I was going there, I wanted to buy the poster. And because I saw the stuff on the website, there's like a poster, there's like a booklet. So I was like, I'm going to get the poster, I'm going to get the booklet, I'm going to get the t-shirt. But like the poster was like so small, it was like maybe slightly bigger than like a A4 sheet of paper. Like it was, I thought it was going to be like a pretty like standard size poster. But it was so small. And the bo the booklet, I thought it was going to be more like a book, like regular size. But it was like almost like a game manual you know, like size was so small and it was just like not that in it was the kind of booklet that you would get for free usually in most concerts just giving you like information and I don't know, I felt like that was not worth like $20 because it was $20 for the booklet $20 for the poster and then I wanted to buy the magnet the magnet was $7 but it was just like a thin you know, like the magnets you get for free somewhere that's like advertisement. It's like just a sheet, like just a very thin magnet. Like very, very, very cheap magnet that like usually they would give you for free, but it was $7. And then I bought a shirt, which was 55. It's not too bad. And uh, I'm probably gonna wear it when, when the update comes out and I stream it. And there was a hoodie, but the hoodie was $100. That's a little bit much for a hoodie, for like the quality, for the quality of the hoodie. Like I don't mind paying a hundred if it's a nice quality hoodie, but for the quality that it is, I felt like it was not worth it. So I, I just bought a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, the shirt being 55 is insane. Yeah, like the same, I don't mind being $55 for a shirt if it's like good quality shirt. But for, for like a Gildan, <laughs> Like a Gildan t-shirt with a print that felt a little bit expensive. Yeah. Okay, let's sleep. But the concert was really worth like even though the merch the merch was not that great, like the concert was still definitely worth it. So I do recommend going if you can. Fifty five isn't too bad. I think like it's not the like it depends on the for the quality like for the quality i felt like it was not worth it i mean i'm glad i got the t-shirt to have like a souvenir but yeah but for the quality it's definitely not like a good ratio i felt like I'd rather get some awesome gaming garden merch. Get definitely high quality. Thank you. Yeah, especially like since I'm like making merch, I'm trying to compare. Try to compare like my merch with their merch, and I feel like mine is cheaper and higher quality. You know, and I know they definitely ordered it in like bigger quantities, so I know they're different. Like. I know they're making a lot of profit on those <laughs> on those fifty-five dollar t-shirts, but yeah. Anyway, it's it's it was really fun though. Yeah, if it's fair trade and sustainable, yeah. I mean, it's a Gildan t-shirt, so like, it's not like anything. <laughs> um. All right. So next. What should I do? Oh yeah, let's plant some more crops. Did I not get any seeds? Oh yeah. Fresh soil needs seeds. 
This is so satisfying when you plant all of these things. Just shooting these seeds in the ground. All right, let's water. Hopefully they will add crafting from chests. Yeah, I don't mind it. Honestly, it's not too bad. But yeah, that was always a nice feature. Maybe later on there is going to be like special chests. I don't know. Glad you had a good time. I'm always jealous. Those kind of concerts never happen where I live. Yeah, I'm lucky. I'm really lucky because that two nights in Toronto. At first, I missed the chance to buy the tickets. Because I, I like... I checked like one hour late because I, I just forgot like when they went on sale and then I bought so I missed the sale for Toronto and then I managed to get a ticket for Ottawa so I was like okay I'm gonna go to Ottawa to go to the concert which is not too far like I, I, I didn't mind and then I realized that the Ottawa concert is at the same time that I'm gonna be at PAX East so then I realized I couldn't go to Ottawa, so I refunded my Ottawa. And then after that, they released more tickets for Toronto. Like, I guess some other people canceled. And then I was able to get one for Toronto. So if you guys wanted to go, if you guys are wanting to go to the Stardew Valley concerts, and it goes in your town, but it's sold out, you should take a look at their Twitter. The Stardew Valley Festival of Seasons, my like concert Twitter. And sometimes they release tickets, like they have extra tickets, like a few days before the venue, before the event. So you should keep an eye on that and maybe you can get the tickets. And they're not like, you know, sometimes on Ticketmaster, it gets like super crazy expensive, but they're not too bad. They're not too bad. Good thing they do refunds. I was wondering what will you do with the Ottawa ticket? Yeah, like you can get a refund through Ticketmaster, but if you, you, I need, I had to contact the like event organizer company and they managed to like do it for me. But you can't, yeah, Ticketmaster is kind of a pain. Come on up and take a look. All right, I could buy some carrot seeds. I'm so scared to like sell anything because I've been needing everything. Oh, you know what? Okay, I need to make more aluminum electronics, right? Let's do that. I keep getting sidetracked. Uh, Toronto and Ottawa are four hours apart. Yeah, I mean, it's not too, it's not too bad, right? I mean, I feel like when you live in Canada, like maybe if you're in another country, four hours seems like a lot, but. For me, it's not. Doesn't seem very far. Like where I grew up, if I if I wanted to go somewhere else, I had to drive like five hours. I was like, there was nothing, nothing around it. So I'm used to like driving a long time or like taking the bus or you know flying or something. Uh, aluminium electronics. I need more aluminium rods. So, okay, so let's go get some more aluminium. Let's go mine some aluminium. In four hours, I can get to the other side of the country. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Canada, <laughs> Canada is really big. So, like, if you look at the map, four hours doesn't bring you very far. But, yeah, I feel like mo most of us are used to it. I feel like it's probably the same for Americans, right? Most people are probably used to, like, driving, like, ten hours to go somewhere. Ooh, that's new. I've never seen that ore before. Cool. Ooh, I'm probably gonna learn new recipes. Oh, maybe because I just... No, I don't know. Yeah, I've never seen that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's weird. They're all the recipes that I just learned, I already knew them. Like the mailbox, storage box, small plot, campfire. Yeah, I already had all of these recipes. I'm not sure where that's coming from.
Let me see if there's actually something new. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Kind of like triggered everything. I don't think I actually learned anything new. All right, so this is the aluminum, so I'm gonna get that. I drove 14 hours straight to go to get to PAX East in the worst snowstorm in the years at night by myself. It was worth it, right? I feel like every time I do a long drive, it's always like, for example, during the holidays, usually like if I wanted to go see my family, I would drive like depending on where I live, like five hours, 10 hours and there's all there was always like a big big <laughs> huge snowstorm and I couldn't drive like fast, you know. I had to drive like super slow. And it took so much longer. Yeah, I feel like every time I drive. But I don't drive too much anymore because I don't have a car. Anyone else getting no place like home or satisfactory vibes? I'm getting some satisfactory vibes, but not in terms of gameplay. In terms of just like visuals. It kind of makes me want to play satisfactory. And um, no place like home. There's a little bit of cleaning in this game. So I, I, I do get the vibes in terms of gameplay, but not in terms of visuals. So it's like no place like home gameplay and satisfactory visuals. How do you not fall asleep at the wheel? Maybe caffeine, caffeine helps. Caffeine helps for those long drives. And having someone to like chat with helps. Yeah. Taking breaks if you need. That's the most important. Take some breaks. I need to make more clay. But I like driving. I like driving for like long. Sometimes I miss having a car just for like driving around. I don't need I don't need one right now and I can't like really like afford one <laughs> but sometimes I miss like having a car just for fun. So I need uh more copper wire. How do I make copper wire? More copper ore. So let's make more copper wires. I have some here. And then electronics. Is that going to be enough? Let's see if I have enough to upgrade. Apparently new cars, they have a face recognition thing that sets up an alarm if they see you yawning at the wheel. Oh, that's so smart. I did not know that. Oh, no, I need three more electronics. I need a lot more. I like driving myself, but I'm rather reckless with the gas pedal. Oh no, be careful. Be safe. I also sometimes feel like I can't afford to have a car. It's so expensive. Especially if you don't like... Well, even if you need it, it is it's so expensive. Oh yeah, we have the electronic parts here. I've got this here. Okay, I think I should... Good, polyberio. Okay. I think I can, I can, I can upgrade now. I can make some paths. Let's check this out. And all right, so. Oh, next one, I can field plow mode. Allows the mech to freely create fields of mounds on the ground. That is nice. So now I should be able to path maker mode to make paths. So let's sleep so it's like we can see what we're doing. And then tomorrow we can make some paths. I'm looking forward to that. I'm late at work. I guess I know what I'm listening to while working. Boopy, I hope you're almost done with your work work day. Or maybe you're just getting started. But I hope you're glad to be part of your day. I live in the country of bicycles and proper public transport. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble. No money for a car. Yeah, I mean, it is nice when you can have public transport. That's kind of why I don't have a car right now. So I don't go out too much. Oh, it's raining. I kind of wanted a nice sunny day. <gasps> Do I have pathmaker mode? I want to see. Oh, 
I'm not faster though. Oh my gosh, I'm making the roads like this. Okay. Yeah, this is just like, uh, oh, you can raise. Yeah, this does not make you faster, but it's a fun way to make paths. I've never seen that in the game. Like, so you lower it and then you just, oh my gosh, that is so, <laughs> that is so fun. You just like walk around, I mean, drive around. That is cool. Yeah, that is really nice, actually. I love this. Two more hours. Oh, you're almost done. I work remote, so can have YouTube while working. One of the perks. That is so nice. Yeah, I worked remote for a little bit. That's You gotta, gotta enjoy those perks. Hi, Josh. I'm late. Luthi TV. Nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. You're not too late. We just started like an hour ago. Someone I'm behind suddenly looked back after we bring the loud room. Noises after it hit green light. I was like, sorry, don't mind me. Yeah, be careful. Any game you're planning to get for Steam Spring Sale? I don't think so. Because there's no... I don't like to... Um. Oops. I removed this. There's no game that I really want to buy that much right now. Like I feel like I ha I feel like I have enough games. So just because it's a sale, I'm not gonna go and like try. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong thing. Just because it's a sale, I'm not gonna go and like try to like purposely go spend money. So if I have nothing to buy, I try to avoid. I try to avoid looking at the sales because I know it's not something that I really like want that much. So. So yeah, not not really. There's nothing. Yeah. Like I don't mind too much. I don't. Sometimes it's nice. To, like if there's a game that I really want, then I'm gonna wait for the sale. But like I don't. Maybe the next mode. Maybe it's gonna be the wheels to like actually go fast. I don't know. Oh no, it's gonna be the plowing mode. So I don't, yeah, I don't think in the game right now there's any way to like actually, oh, there's different types of paths too. I don't think there's any way to like actually go fast with your mech. I tried Garden Life on the Switch and I'm shocked at how horrible the graphics are per order and was really looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, I was not expecting much with the Switch version, right? I've not seen how it looks. I've not seen how the Switch version looks. It is a pretty, it's a really pretty game on PC, so yeah, I was a little bit worried, <laughs> worried with the Switch version, so uh, it's sad to hear that it is not, it is not great. Uh, it's really hard following while working, how's it going so far? Homie me, it's going pretty well, going pretty well, it's very chill, it's very like relaxing, but we're making progress, we're slowly making progress. I love the atmosphere, I love the graphics of this game. I wish the chests were bigger. You know what? There's different types of chests. Let me see if the, let me see if they're bigger actually. I need hardwood. Let me see if like those barrels, they're more expensive. But do they 60 no they're not even and they're kind of like not that good looking at least you can recycle them and get everything back but yeah yeah those chests are so tiny All right, so next, I need to make some carrot oil, right? So, still working on that. I think tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to have a bunch of carrot. Maybe, let me just sleep. Let me sleep, and then maybe tomorrow we can do that and then upgrade our vacuum. And then once our vacuum is upgraded, uh, we'll be able to do more stuff. I couldn't even get it to launch on PC. It constantly crashed. Oh no, Garden Life? Or Lightyear Frontier? Hi, 
Hi, Piper. Nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. Oh, we got our flowers ready here. You can grow these flowers for color. They take such a long time to grow. I planted them like such a long time ago. But yeah, you can use those for colors. And then, okay, yeah, I think our car roots are ready. So let's pick everything up. And then we're gonna plant plant them again. It it's raining a lot, right? I feel like it's been raining for most most of the stream. We didn't have a lot not a lot of sunny days. Oh the the full garden life wouldn't launch. I refunded it with support disappointment. Oh that's a shame. Alright, so we're making that. So I need I think I need like 25 of those oils. So we're gonna need a lot. Yeah. Just got back from lab work. Had too fast last night, so grabbed some pasta on the way home. About to dig in. Oh my gosh! Have a enjoy your meal. You you must be so hungry. Yeah. I'm exhausted. I had morning class. I had to wake up at six to go to an eight a.m. class. Oh my gosh, bunny. That's early. All right. Mm. Let's make... Oh, yeah. Let's make some clay so I can make the bigger fields. Let's make some more... I just got some stone dust, actually. Uh, so, let's see if I can make some clay. I think the merchant actually shows up every day, right? I feel like she's always... She's always here. This reminds you of a wonderful life. It's always raining. Yeah. I mean, wonderful life, I feel like it really depends. But sometimes you're like in a phase where it, yeah, it never stops raining. But yeah, in this game, it does rain a lot. All right. So I love that I can make paths. Should I make paths like... I don't know. Let's just make some more paths. I, I do like... I do like that I can make paths now. So there's dirt and stone. Let's do dirt. Let's make a path to go mine some aluminium. Oops. The thing is, if you want to remove the path, then it's a lot of work because you got to go back and do the same thing. But let's just try to make our world look a little bit more like lived in. Rain, orange is different for everyone, maybe. I don't know, it's always raining on... Yeah, I think the way it works in the One of Life, I think if it rains on one day, then the probability of raining on the next day are higher than if it was a sunny day. So, like, usually if it... if you, It's like in, in real life, almost, where, like, if it rains, there's a pretty good chance it's going to rain, like, multiple days in a row. Oh, there's some cabbage there. I wonder what happens if I put a path where some things usually spawns. So let's try to put a path on those cabbages and see if something happens. Oops. I don't know if they're going to respawn. Do you walk faster in the path? I don't think you do. No, it's the same. I wish you would walk... I, I wish you would walk faster. I feel like that, that could be a nice... I mean, you can sprint, but... Yeah, I wish you would walk faster in those paths. That would that would be a nice, nice incentive. Right now, they're mostly they're really just decorative. 
and a way to like maybe not get lost as much because I do get lost a lot. The environment looks so nice. It's such a beautiful game. It does look really nice. There's no upgrade to go faster. There is an upgrade to sprint faster. But I don't think this leads anywhere. You know what? Let's remove. I want to make paths where I'm actually going to go. Um, yeah, what I was going to say. Yeah, there's a thing to sprint faster. But nothing to like. I wish you could like transform in like in a car. But keep in mind this game is just in early access, so maybe it's something they'll add later. Which way should I go? I don't know. Let me go get those crystal. Yeah, maybe I should go up. Oops. Let's go up here. Also, it's kind of cool and key to like always like the way you're walking. So it would be nice to yeah, be able to drive would be nice. Because I do love the controls. I do like the controls when you're in this mode, the pathmaker mode, but you're like actually really slow. But I do like that it's like more like driving than walking. I wish there were more options for customization. Yeah. Right now you can change like the color of certain parts. You can change the style of certain parts. There's like other styles you can buy. But there's not a bunch. It would be nice. It would be nice if there was more customization. But yeah, keep in mind though this game is just in early access. So may maybe it's stuff that they, they will add later on. All right, so let's follow our little path home. We're not gonna get lost. It's kind of hard to see that path actually in the in, when you're in the forest. Rabbit seeds. The merchant is departing. Usually I just cut here, yeah, just fly, fly back home. All right, the paths look nice though here on the on the farm on the on the grass. All right, so now what should we do? What should we do? Do we have enough? How much carrot oils do we have? We have twelve. Let me see if there's more. And the chests, I've got 20 now. I think I can almost upgrade my uh, vacuum. So I need five copper wires. So I have enough oil. I just need copper wires. And I think, I think I'm going to have to go mine. I think we're going to... I have to go get some more copper, actually. Yeah, because I have three copper wires here, but that's not enough. That is not enough. So let's go get some copper. So I think the copper, yeah, here near the edge cliffs. I'm not too sure exactly where. Um, so. I'm going to sleep because it's getting dark. Oops. And let's go try to find the copper. And I always have trouble finding it. So I'm going to walk there. And then when I come back. Oh, Noxious Bobo isn't coming. So you guys can see the... That's the only danger that's in this game. I think you have to... 
Yeah, you have to kill them with the water. Let me just... Because they can kill your crops, right? So you got to be really careful. You know what? Let me harvest them before they... Yeah, those bubbles can kill your crops. So let me harvest everything. See, if they fall like this, they just kill everything. Uh, okay, so let me just... Oops. Oops. And now I have to go fill up my... Yeah, I love how this path looks. I have to go fill up my water tank. I was expecting some kind of combat a little bit, but that would just add to the stress. Yeah, there's no combat. I kind of... I don't mind. I kind of like that there is no combat. But I'm also not a big fan of those phases, like those bubbles. I don't know. Alright, now I got rid of them, but I gotta clean up. Clean up everything. I feel like you don't get anything for cleaning up. That's the thing. Oh, by the way, I can finish this. Uh, Alright, so now we got another field. I'm gonna plant, plant some more cabbage. And I gotta fill up. Yeah, that's one thing. I, I really want to upgrade my water tank. Have you recovered from the 12 hour stream yet? Oh, yeah, I did. That didn't take too long. Honestly, that was such a fun stream. That was such a fun stream. By the way, I got everything yesterday. Like all the, the stuff from Marvelous, like the press kits that I was giving away, and the Rune Factory hoodie and Rune Factory poncho. I got everything yesterday, so. I reached out to the winners already, but after this stream, I'm going to go ship all of your stuff. So you should get them probably, probably next week for most of you. Um, and yeah, also I want to do a Rune Factory, like the Rune Factory hoodie. I'm not going to show it to you now because I don't have it like close to me. But I feel like next week, next week, which are not next week because I'm going to be gone. When I come back, I want to do. I want to wear that Rune Factory hoodie on the Rune Factory stream. So maybe we should do a little Rune Factory stream next week. What does the poncho look like? The poncho. Someone posted a picture of the poncho on Discord. Uh, it's really like that. I think I like the hoodie more. It is. It is nice. It's really just like you've got a little, like a woolly head with like ears and then. And then you got something like on your shoulders. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show it to you guys when when we do a Rune Factory. Whenever we do a Rune Factory stream, I'm gonna show them to you guys. But they, they are really cute. I guess I'm so bad at aiming. Clean that. And clean that. So I need to fill up my watering tank. Okay, let me just harvest this. Oops. All right, so now, okay, we got that. Okay, so let me go find some copper. I'm not too sure exactly where I put the marker somewhere. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go there by uh, find my win. When I come back, I'll make a path so I know where to go next time. Which Rune Factory do you like the most? I think Rune Factory Frontier is my favorite. Yeah, they were. Yeah, the thing that they posted on Discord. Yeah, that was that was a poncho. We're farming in a robot today. We are. Yeah, a very big, big and clunky robot. All right, carrot seeds. Where's the copper? I 
Oh, there's some here. Eight. Oh, that's a lot. Twelve. Sixteen. So I'm going to make a path for that. I wish the path would remove like all the little grass and everything. I wish it would remove more stuff. And then we're gonna go down. But let me go see up there if there's more. Okay, so we got that. I wanna see the transformation. Oh, it's not. Like, it's kind of like an instant. I thought it was there was gonna be like a cool animation. I'm excited for the Q and A, and I can't wait for packs for after packs. Yeah, the Q and A should be. I've not recorded it yet, but it should be pretty pretty soon. Why are we in a robot anyway? This is another planet we're terraforming, but still can't breathe on. No, you can't go out of the robot. I mean, it's just. You're much stronger in a robot, right? It gives you a lot of lots of tools and stuff to be more efficient. But yeah, you can totally breathe out the robot. But yeah, there's not too much you can do when you're out though, like there's not too much you can do. Oh, there's some more here, some more copper. And there's some red flower. And is there anything down here? Anything fun? Oops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just... Okay. We're fine. We're all good. Uh, I don't think there's anything... All right, I think we should be good. So let's just go back home. I'm kind of lost already. Oh, there's a path here. Let me let me follow my path. Oops. Congrats on raising so much. We crushed the goal again. The, yeah, we raised 3,500. That's so good for No Kid Hungry. Ready to go. Very, very glad we managed to exceed our goal by a lot. Uh, why are we in a robot? Uh, sorry, I read that. Are there other robot people to... No, this game has multiplayer, so you can play with um, up to three other people. So like four players in total. But no, you're the only one. There's a merchant that stops by once in a while. Well, pretty much every day to like trade. But they yeah, are pretty much on your own. Pretty much by yourself. Which I kind of like. I like those games where you're just like... You don't have to worry about other people. <laughs> you just do your own thing. Would be fun to see another player. I wonder what a character player would look like. I think they would look the same as you, but maybe in a different color. I think from the trailer I saw, I think the other players will have like the same mech at first, but just like a different color. Oh, I think there's a plant scientist somewhere too. Oh, I see. So now I'm just making a little path. So that I, I don't get lost when uh, I want to go find copper next time. Yeah, I love those path mechanics. I wish we could do paths like this in Satisfactory. Now that I think of it. And we're 
gonna connect them and so i think now with my copper i should make some should be able to make some copper wires and i forgot how many let's do five and i should be able to upgrade my harvester and with my harvester i'll be able to like um restore one of the areas can you change the pov anytime or is it always first yeah you can change it anytime you just press on the mouse wheel and it goes from first person to third person so usually i feel like when i make the paths i like to be in third person so i can see what i'm doing a little bit more but for the rest i feel like it's better in first person uh spike soluble two okay i need to make okay uh yeah Vacuum harvester power, allowing it to suck up stronger weeds. Strong weeds. So let's do that. And I want a, a water tank capacity polyberry oils. I think I, I can probably do that because my water tank is so tiny. Like every time you saw it, right? Every time I want to water something, I need to like refill it 25 times. So let's upgrade that. And irrigation hose power, increase the range, allowing it to wash away strong slime. I need to do that too. Rabbage oil and red crystal dust. I think I can do that. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, rabbage oil. I think I probably have, I have some red crystal dust. So let's do, yeah, let's do lots of upgrades this i have more rabbage here more carrots so i can make more oils most of your crops you just make oils with them pretty much yeah i wish there was a way i really want i'm really like craving some automations i wish you could like have your crops go on the conveyor belt and then go in the oil thing or something all right so uh okay let me just wait for my rabbage oil to be ready so let's just sleep I love how your streams are so chill. It's always a struggle to find something to listen to while working. Gonna be lurking while working. Have a fun stream. Sora, thank you so much. Hope your work is doing well. Going well. I like the space visuals in the sky. Yeah, it is nice, right? You've got a big... You've got that... Green star. You've got like a big planet here. You've got like another... Well, we can't see it well now. There's another big one there with the ring. There's like so many planets. It is nice. It Because the planet itself kind of looks like Earth. Like it looks like just a regular planet. But... Uh, yeah, it's nice that... When you look up you realize that it's not Earth, it's like a different planet. Uh, yeah, if you want to pick up stuff, you gotta use your mech. Because your inventory is kind of like, actually kind of like on your mech. Okay, so let's make more rabbage oils. And was there more? Okay, I think I have enough now. I love automation farming games. Wish there was more. Yeah, I feel like it's such a good setting too for automation, like the the big mechs and everything. Hydro splash. Ooh, to splash more stuff at once. Let's try to do that. So we got that. Let's try to find five aluminium parts. We're doing so many upgrades at once. I was just like accumulating so many. I was accumulating so many things and now we can upgrade everything so we're it's gonna feel like a huge upgrade right uh okay so let me make three aluminium parts i need some polyberry oil i should have i have some here maybe i should make some more I need to make another oil presser, actually. I need to make more of those. Yeah. I do. Uh, okay. Aluminum parts. Okay, that's one. I need to make two more. So, you know what? Let me make another uh, workshop. Oh, I need wood.
Oh, I don't need another workshop. I have another one. I have one here. Okay, so let me make another old press. Oh, I need stones. Okay, let me go get some stones. Let me just go in my mech. Get some stones. I don't know if these stones respawn like every day or I don't know how often they respawn. There are so many streamers that are too over the top, which is okay, but just streams are so cozy and chill. I draw in chat while watching. So glad to hear it. Like. It's good. We do need some variety, right? Sometimes sometimes it can be fun to watch something that's over the top, but sometimes you just want to just want to chill, right? Keep it calm. I love it when a game has a pretty sky. It's such a nice sky. So, let's uh, do I have enough? yes so if you make stuff you can pl place them anywhere but if you put your machines in the workshop sometimes we're gonna get like double the items all right so we got that uh now i just need to wait until i have a little bit more oil so this is my new vacuum i don't think it's gonna make a big difference just when you harvest crops maybe it does And yeah, this is not making a big difference on the crops here, but it's gonna allow me. I wish I wish you would see a bigger difference, uh, but it's gonna allow me to destroy bigger slimes. So after that, we can go in other parts of the map, those purple areas, and clean up a lot of stuff. I love how you're always talking, so there's never a dull moment. I'll go back to work. Enjoy your work. I try to keep it... Keep it talking. Uh, the harvesting and watering in this game looks so satisfying. It is very satisfying. It is. Oh, yeah. Now I can have 80 pieces of water. 80, 80... Maybe 80 liters. 80 liters of water in instead of 50. So that's almost like 30% more. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I know I'm over encumbered. I'm gonna have to clean, clean up my inventory. Um, all right, so that's good. That's done. Uh, okay, let me go now. My oils should be ready. One, and I need to make two more. Yeah. How many? I need five aluminium parts, right? Now I've got three. Let's just wait. Let's just wait a little bit. Hi, Ken. Nice to see you. Welcome. All right. I got two from that. I can make one more aluminium part. And now uh, I need three more. Also with this, yeah, you can put the flowers in there to make some paint. And... You have so many polyberries. Gonna need to make more... Gonna need to make more chests. It's getting getting full oops oh I need some aluminium for my aluminium parts and all right so now I'm just gonna wait for that oil okay just need one more we just gotta wait 40 seconds can we wait do you guys mind waiting a little bit? Just 35 seconds and then we'll be able to upgrade our... We'll get the Hydro Splash. So I think that's going to make watering my crops a lot faster. And then... Reminds me of Slime Rancher, right? It does have 
a little bit of the, a similar vibe, like, actually. How do you feel about the crafting so far? Does the crafting chain and pacing feel fine? Not like which would. Yeah, no, it's fine. I like the crafting. It's not like the thing with with Witchwood. First of all, it's not just it's not like Bendel Till or Witchwood where you just like craft to like complete quests. You actually craft for yourself and like to get upgrade for characters and stuff like that. So for your mech, so the crafting is rewarding. And it's not like complicated chain so far. It's like you transform one or two items. It's not like transforming the same thing like 15 times, you know? So I, I like the crafting so far. But it does feel a little bit... I feel like a lot of crafting... A lot of games do that, but... And it kind of makes sense, but it feels maybe a little bit formulaic. Like, you craft something, like you go somewhere, you gather a new material, then you craft an upgrade with that and then that upgrade will allow you to go to a different area where you're gonna get another material and then get another upgrade to go to another area. so it feels kind of formulaic in that sense but i guess it's hard to avoid that when you make a game i guess but yeah so far though not too bad i just wish there was an upgrade to like uh, actually let me let me try increase the sprint speed let's see how much faster oh no let me upgrade oh power car i don't have that let me see if I can upgrade my sprint speed. I need 36 Karoot oils. I have 23 here. I need some copper wires. Okay, I think I'm gonna need more. Uh, I've got two Karoots here. 13 here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make more oils. and make some more copper wires so when i come back or you know what let's just sleep let's just sleep increase our sprinting speed so then when we go to that new area it's gonna be faster I just realized this comes out the same day as the Stardew Valley update. Yeah, I'm glad I got early access so I can show it to you guys a little bit. Like, so it's not like super overwhelming on the 19th, but yeah, they do come out on the same day, which is kind of not the best timing. All right, so now I got the oil. Okay, so now I should be able to upgrade. It see it's raining again. The rain never ends. Oh, I need. I still need more Karut oil. Okay, let's farm. At least I guess when it's raining, you don't have to water the crops. Oh my gosh, there's so many weeds. Don't forget feeding the creature helps with regenerating the crops in my role. Yeah, I've not been feeding. I've not been feeding the... I feel like... I don't know. I don't feel the effects too much. But yeah, you do. You can feed the... The fauna. No more seeds. Okay, let, let's clean this up. Oh yeah, now I can do this. Oh, so when I water my crops now, I could do this. Maybe it's gonna water the whole circle. Oh my gosh, it, it does consume a lot of water though. It's like one big, one big bubble. So let's see how much water. I'm at 80 now. 71. Oh yeah, almost 10. Merchant is arriving. You know what? Maybe I can sell some polyberry. I'm starting to have like so many polyberries. I think I can probably sell a little bit. Let 
let me check my chest uh see i've got like 64 poly berries here these are seeds the seeds i want to keep them Yeah, let's sell a little bit, a little bit of those berries. Hola. See anything you like? Might not matter until late game or to feed the animals. Yeah, so far I've not had an issue with like stuff not regenerating fast enough. Oh, and the poly bears are worth more today. All right, so now I have money. So there's lots of stuff I can buy. Uh, so you can buy um, blueprints for decor. So I just got a bench blueprint, and we could try. I could buy a little parasol, and I could buy like new parts like this. Windshield is on sale. I could buy a new arm. Vintage. Let's try that vintage set. I think it probably doesn't look that... Doesn't look that different. But, yeah, I wish there was more exciting stuff to buy. You know, like, you can buy new parts, but they're just, like, visual changes. There's a few decor items, but I wish there was, like, something exciting to save your money. Because I've been playing for, like... I don't know how many days right now, but I kind of wish there was something more exciting to save your money for. I'm curious to see how worth it's going to be to grow stuff, you know, like is this just to buy cosmetic stuff for another purpose? Well, growing stuff is important because a lot of crafting recipes and like upgrades require oil. So, yeah, at one point, if you have too many, like now with my berries, you can sell them. But yeah, I feel like the shop doesn't have too much like exciting stuff. Uh, so now I can... I remember when I played the demo, I struggled with that. Uh, I forgot how to... Oh yeah. I'm gonna remove everything. I remember when I played the demo, I struggled. <laughs> I struggled so much when I was getting so confused with the parts because they all look so similar. So you just gotta grab them and then you just walk away so they disap they go back in your, your like inventory. I wish I had blue paint. I'm gonna see if I can make blue paint to like change my, make my robot a little bit different. My mech, sorry. Well, it is a robot, but. All right, so now. I kind of like that windshield. I love that it's different. The windshield is nice because when you watch, when you're playing in first person, you can actually see the different windshield. I know you need oil, but besides that, yeah, exactly. I finally got Immortal Life going to start it after I have a lunch. Oh, nice. I hope you like it. It's such a good game. All right, we got an arm. So you can even mix and match the arms, right? You could use the, the one arm from one set, another one, like, from another set. But I want to just match everything for now. So this is the vintage. It doesn't look that different, honestly. It doesn't look that different. Oh, where's my other leg? I'm missing a leg. Um... Oh, vintage leg. And, okay, let me check. Let me see if I can make blue paint. I've got red paint here, but, I mean, I'm already red. Uh, blue color flower. Let me see if I have more. I just have one. I just have one. Let's make some blue paint. And that's going to take one minute I hope we can get different robots like steampunk futuristic or a cute pastel robot right I know there's like the vintage one but that looks not that different there's a knight 
one. Like this one looks pretty different. It's like a metal. Yeah, like a knight armor, right? But oh, let me see. Let me buy some color flower seeds actually, because I I've not seen a lot of those. So might as well plant some by myself. So the flowers, you just like shoot them like this in the soil and then they, they're going to grow by themselves. And all right, so the paint is going to be ready. So let's see if we can paint the parts of... Oh, I need to... Oh, yeah, you can actually do that. You can put them in your mech like this and then you'll have access to it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, and oh, yeah, you can mix colors. So now I don't have it, but you can make a mixer to create new colors so you can make purple by mixing uh okay the thing is i don't know how to change because i'm selecting okay let me put actually is that blue or let me put my red paint away i still don't know how to select between like the different things like which seeds I want to plant or like which paint I want to use. Yeah, so you can... I mean, I don't have enough to do the whole robot. But yeah, you can choose the colors like this. That is really nice. Okay, so we're going to do a blue one. Eventually, eventually I'll get enough paints. Enough paint to do the whole thing. Check control. No, I did with control. It didn't... Um, It's not control, it's not alt. It's not Q, Q is like the, oh, here you need to do Q and then you need to press R. So like when you plant seeds, for example, Q and then you need to press R, R and E. I mean, I don't have anything now, but. Oh, fertilizer. Oh, you're gonna have fertilizers later on. All right, so now I upgraded my uh, my vacuum harvester and my hose. Let me fill up my water. But now I should be able to... Oh, yeah, did I upgrade my sprint speed? I did, right? Did I? This is my sprinting speed. I feel like it's the same as before. Yeah, I probably didn't upgrade it yet. This reminds me of the income. That's also how the colors change. Yeah, it is nice when you can change the colors freely like this of everything. Don't forget where you parked it. Oh, yeah. Sprint speed. I need... Oh, I need one more Karoot oil. Just one more. Oh, there it is. So, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it's faster. Hopefully, I can like, actually notice the difference. You can see there's going to be more later on here, but I think there are maybe not in the game yet. All right, so the walking speed is the same. The sp oh, yeah. It is a little bit faster. I mean, it's not like game changing, but it is a little bit faster. So now I can go in those areas like Stepstone Spark. Like, I, I think I can clear like maybe two or three of those areas now. So let's go. Let's do that. Oh, I meant the settings for the control. Oh, yeah. Well, we we figured it out, but yeah. So we're gonna... I should have slept before because it's really dark now. It's really dark. Oh, there's a blue flower. Yeah, we need that. We need those. To color our robot. The energy readings are still on the rise here. Keep working at it. All right, so now I think I should be able to clean those. Yeah, I wasn't able to before. Nice. So that's going to take a while because my water tank 
It's still... I mean, it's bigger than it used to be, but still. Oh, I think there's water there. So yeah, this game, if you play like no place like home or games like that where you have to do a lot of cleaning, it kind of feels... Kind of feels similar in a way. There's a lot, a lot of cleaning to do. And then once you're done cleaning an area, you unlock new... Uh, new resources will appear, right? So you'll get new crops, new ores. Can you make a tent? You can make a tent. Um, or a house. Yeah, you can make it at anywhere, actually, if you want the time to skip. Yeah, but I, I, mean, I don't have the... Well, I could, but... Yeah. I mean, it's fine. The 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 morning will come eventually. Uh, oh, already no more water. Yeah, that's the thing. That water tank is so small. Fresh start cleaning simulator was also nice. Yeah, that was from the same developer as No Place Like Home, right? I've not played that one yet. Why are there goobs? Uh, so the planet is like... I don't think we know exactly why or... Maybe the narrator tells you. But yeah, basically the planet has lots of like toxic stuff. When you arrive. And you just restore it. I'm not too sure. I don't remember if there's like a proper reason for it. The robot, there... I mean, there's, there's like someone that talks to you a lot in the beginning. Uh, Piper, like the little uh, companion voice but i found her a little bit annoying at first because she was just talking too much so I, I don't know if she tells you why the reason why i had a lot of fun with it but like migi i like cleaning games but power wash was not my cup of tea yeah i feel like i've never played power wash i've not played power wash simulator yet oh i got an achievement for removing 15 noxious slimes I'm glad there's a pond there, otherwise that will be even more tedious. Uh, did you like robots as a kid? I never had a Gundam, but my parents gave me a similar toy called Zoids. I love them. I never... I was not that into robots. I had the... You know, like the Bionicle Legos? I had some of those. So these were the closest toys to, like, robots I had, I guess. But I was not, like... I was really into dinosaurs more i feel like um than robot yeah i was into more like dinosaurs and like animals like robots or like superheroes superheroes were never like my thing as a kid josh congrats on the affiliate that was your first easy thank you so much yeah i noticed you were the first one Thank you so much. Yeah, I had not even announced it and you just... I guess you just like saw it randomly, right? Right when I, I just like finished setting everything up and then right after you were you were there already. You were so quick. Thank you so much for your support. And yeah, I did. <laughs> I did take a screenshot to this on, on Twitter. So you will you will forever be remembered as as my first Twitch sub. I grew up with technology, so I guess that could be why I like Max. Maybe. So does that mean everybody will... I mean, all the kids now are growing with technology. So does that mean they will all like Max? Oh my gosh, I, for, I didn't fill it up completely. Oh, Doc Clemency, thank you so much for following on Twitch. Got the first founder badge too. That's awesome. Yeah, congrats, Migi. Congrats to all of our founders. 
Yeah, that's one nice thing about Twitch is let's let's have little badges, let's have little rewards and little things that you don't have on YouTube. All right, I'm at 82%, so that area is almost done. Oh, next day. Day 20. To be honest, I camped your Twitch site, but Izzy was earlier than me. Yeah, I think you were second, right? I mean, you were right. Right after Miss Fang gifted one sub on gifted one sub on Twitch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. By the way, if anybody if anybody's wondering, doesn't know yet. I'm streaming on both Twitch and YouTube today, so feel free to watch. There should be a link to either the other platform on each platform, so feel free to watch on whichever you like the most, right? If you like Twitch, watch on Twitch. If you like YouTube, watch on YouTube. I thought it was limited to only eight people, so maybe it's, it is ten people. I thought I think I got confused because at one point there was like eight slots left, and I thought it was yeah, but it is the first ten people actually. Oops. Migi, I wrote eight slots left, but Izzy and I were already two. Yeah, I think that's what mixed me up. Like, I, I got stuck with the number eight, and I thought it was eight. In, yeah, but there was eight left. That's what confused me. I'm probably number 11. Yeah, Miss Fang, I know you were so early, too. Are you one of the young ones? I, I'm a 90s baby. I think a lot of us are. That robot almost flew like that bike, right? Like that sunny side bike. All right, 92%. We better get some nice resources from this after that. 93%. All right, now I gotta find. Where is the slime? Can I climb this? No. Nope. <laughs> At least there's no like damage on the mech, right? You don't have to repair it or anything. It can't break. I don't really understand why it says when you get partner, people get the badges. To oh, are there going to be more badges for like founder badges for partner as well? Or like different types of badges? I feel like partner is going to take a while though, because you need like an average of 75 viewers. So I feel like that's going to take. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I, I think like as long as you're affiliate, you get the most. Tough. After that, I think partner doesn't make that much of a difference. Probably, I think. Work lurking for a bit. I hope you're having a great Friday. Coffee Beam, I hope you're having a great Friday as well. Apparently, Gen Z is worse than technology with than millennials. Because Gen Z doesn't have to troubleshoot the way that millennials... Millennial. Why am I struggling? Millennial. 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 What? <laughs> I can't speak English anymore. Then millennials did. I think different people have different aptitudes. Yeah, that is true, right? Because when we grew up, we didn't have... A lot of the times, we didn't even have, like, internet. So we had to, like, troubleshoot on our own. And nowadays, phones are so convenient, right? I, I saw something about that the other day, too. Like, kids just, like, open a tablet and they have all the apps ready. Whereas in the day, you had to, like... You know, like install stuff and like troubleshoot stuff and like everything was like more like a little bit more complicated. Now it's like everything is like super easy to access and like the UI on everything is like super user friendly. So you don't need to like understand how things work. You just it just it just works right away, you know, with everything. So it is true that kids are growing with technology now, but it doesn't mean that they understand how it works, right? DIY troubleshooting, then accidentally downloading a virus. Hello, LimeWire. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we had to deal with viruses. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. We got good at formatting computers all the time. time for some manual labor. I hope I'm not too late. Uh, I'm working while watching today. Safina, I hope your day's doing well. You, you are not too late. Okay, I'm looking for slime. There's probably like six or seven little things of slime left and I can't find them. Oh, there they are. Well, I don't know if that's gonna be all of them, but maybe. Oh yes, 99%. Oh, oh, that's nice. So even if you don't do everything, so even if you forget like one tiny bit of slime, it's actually what gonna work. All right, so now we just restore that area. So there should be new stuff like, I think tomorrow. Um, yeah, tomorrow there, sh there should be more stuff appearing here. So now we can see the area on the map. So now let's check, let's check the lowland plains. I think with the planes, I needed to upgrade the vacuum and we did that earlier. So now I should be able to suck up all of those weeds. And that's easier too, because you don't need to like refill your, your vacuum is not like your hose, right? It doesn't need to be like refilled with anything. So let's see. Oh yeah. So now I should be able to suck those up like Oh, is it still not strong enough? Even though I just upgraded it. But it also doesn't tell me like that it's not... Oh, vacuum harvester upgrade. So I even though I did one upgrade, I guess I need two upgrades. That's a lot. Okay, so let's go check. Let's go check the mountain, mountain side coast. Now that I'm filled with pasta, I'm very tired. Piper, I'm, I'm glad you had a good meal, though. You must have been so hungry. I'm getting hungry, too. I didn't have time to eat breakfast this morning. I woke up too late. I woke up at 9. I wanted to wake up at, like, 8, eight but... Yeah, I didn't have breakfast yet. Um, all right, so... Oops here let's jump and clean up that new area i tried to share a meatball with the cat but he just made a mess with it oh no i guess the cat was not as hungry as you were uh, pasta with meatball that sounds nice though oh irrigation hose you need to upgrade your hose again for this I thought I, I thought I would be able to clean so many areas. Let's check the yellow forest. I thought I would be able to like clean everything now. This robot takes better care of plants than me. I have plants and cacti always die. I sadly don't have a green thumb. Mingy, you would think you would have a green thumb because you're always like... I know, you're always obsessed with everything green. <laughs> So I thought you would have a green thumb. That's disappointing. But every everybody, you just gotta be more careful and you, you can do it. Tiger Lady, thank you so much for subscribing on Twitch. Nice to have you here. We're almost at our goal of 25, right? Oh, we are. Wait, is that our goal? Yeah, we just, wait, what's our goal? Why is it not doing the goal thing? Oh no, the goal, I thought it was for the total subs, it's for the new subs. Oh, I see. I thought, but yeah, we just reached 25 subs on Twitch, so that, that's, I thought, I thought it was going to count as the goal, but yeah, well, nice, nice, nice. That's pretty good. As a busy mom raising two boys under the age of four, my schedule doesn't even leave much room for sitting through endless video game reviews. 
Your cozy content has been a lifesaver, simplifying the process of selecting selecting games for me. Thank you, Tiger Lily. That's so nice to hear. Thank you so much for the nice comment and for the support. Um, oh, it's always nice when I can help people choose what games, what games to pick, what games to play next. So that's why I'm here. So I'm glad to hear. Glad to hear that it's helping. This game is like a mix of Slime Rancher and No Man's Sky. Yeah, it does have kind of a feel of No Man's Sky a little bit. It's kind of a mix. It feels like a mix of like a lot of things, honestly. But it is fun. Um, None of my family members are good with plants except my grandma. Oh no. You can learn though. You, you, you got this. If you start with the mindset that you're not good with plants, it's gonna be hard. But if you like, next time you buy a plant, like research and like be careful about it. And I'm sure, I'm sure you'll do fine. I was not, I was also like, I always, I also thought I was like not great with plants before I like moved on my own and like started having plants. And then I started like caring more carefully for them. And now I feel like I'm, I'm not like amazing, but I'm still like, I feel like everybody could have a green thumb, right? As long as you're like careful about it and you're. Try to do your best. Oh, we got a blue, blue flower. I need some of those. So I think this area should be able to clean everything, right? In the yellow forest. It is nice. I love the autumn, kind of like autumn vibes that we've got here going on. I will, one thing I will say with this game, I feel like it's night time too much. I feel like maybe the evening, I think that's what it is. I feel like the evening is really dark. There's like morning, maybe there's like morning, daytime, evening. But I feel like the evening is already like quite dark and then the night is dark and it feels like, I feel like it's dark. I wish that the night was shorter than the day. Yeah. I feel like that's a lot of problem. That's a problem with like a lot of games where you don't have to sleep. You're like up at night, but it just feels like the night is taking so long. Your green thumb is awesome, Josh. Your plant in the backgrounds are thriving. Thank you so much. Yeah. My Monstera in the background. She's growing some new leaves. And not all of them are doing amazing. Not all of my plants are doing amazing, but most of them, most of them are doing fine. Sometimes they go through bad. There was a period where like a few of them had like little bugs and that was kind of a pain to deal with. But now I think now, nowadays they're doing pretty good. Do you not have a light? Oh my gosh, you are right. I do have a little light. I mean, it's not like, it helps a little bit. Thank you so much for reminding me. I, I had no, um, completely forgot about that. Yeah, you can have a little, you do have a little light. Ooh, platforming. Am I still even in the area? Yeah, I'm gonna leave the area soon. Yeah, so in the demo, if you play the demo, you couldn't access this. Uh, in the demo, you only had access to like the pine heights and the meadows. There's a lot more now. Hi, Shayna. Nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. Maya, you always notice the small details like in Immortal Life. You always find the crafts that Josh needs. Right? I'm so glad you're here too. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I always like forget stuff. I'm glad, I'm glad you guys are here to like remind me of those things. We got a white flower. So maybe with the... Um, we can make white paint now. And maybe we can mix and match with a blue paint to make like a light blue. Maybe we can make pink as well. So that's nice. Okay, I need to find... Oops. 
A white mech would be nice too. Yeah, a white mech would be nice. Yeah, I need to find some more stuff to clean. Is that the same biome? Yeah. Oh, all right. We got this. So maybe that's all. Maybe after this little area, we're going to be good. No, probably not. Maybe. Maybe. After this. Oh, yeah. I think I should be good after all of this. 89. 93. Up. 94. Oh, still 94. Oh, we're missing. We're missing a bit of stuff. Oh, there's a blue flower. Is that the same biome? Yeah, it is. Um, I kind of want to get that blue flower, but I also I don't want to... I feel like there's there might be some more stuff to destroy here, to clean here. Maybe not. Okay, like, let's go get that flower. Blue flower. Oh, what is that? What is that? Strange rock spikes are required. I don't know if my size is strong enough. Oh yeah, it is. I wonder what this Ooh, is. artifacts. Yeah, there's lots of these like glowy purple. Um, I'm not too sure. It's like an ancient technology or something. I'm not too sure what those areas are. I feel like you've been playing a lot of games with funny ragdoll moments. That robot falling is hilarious, right? Lots of games with like crazy, kind of like ragdoll physics. Um. All right. So 94. We're so close. We're just missing a few. This looks so nice. Such a beautiful looking game. E oh my gosh, I almost fell. I almost fell here. Uh, is that, am I going out? Oh yeah, I'm out of the biome. I need to go back. Go back into that biome, find whatever's left to clean. Oh, I don't think I can go back up. Okay, you know what? Let's go check the other biome we cleaned. Let's go check Stepstone Peak that we cleaned yesterday. And I think we should have new ores and new, like, new stuffs. Let me uh, make some path while we're here. Yeah, let's check the biome we saved, restored yesterday. And there should be... Yeah, new stuff now. See those maybe are silver iron. I think the this door. I think when you do all the biomes, maybe this door is gonna open. Yeah, I don't know how long this game is, but I feel like. Maybe Oops, this kind of messed up my... Keep a lookout, will ya? Um, yeah, what was I going to say? I feel like the game is not that long. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like... I mean, it's just in early access. 
But I feel like I'm progressing quickly. I feel like I'm progressing quicker than I would like. Uh, does anyone know how much this game will be? It doesn't sound same. Oh, I'm not sure. My guess would be like $20. 25 Something like that. But that's just a guess, actually. I have no idea. There's some aluminium there. But I want to keep my inventory space. Yeah, those pads are really cute. Hello? Oh, we just our mission started. Well, I Sounds like one of your neighbors is trying to reach out. Doesn't seem like the signal's strong enough, though. Let's make our way up here to get better reception. She wants me to go uphill to get a better reception. Okay, let me go to that new biome first. I don't know if I'm going the right... I think so. Should be fine. I wonder if it's gonna make a path on the bridge. I don't want it to, but... Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, that's nice. I didn't want to put dirt on the bridge. Yeah, I also puts it like under the stone. Okay, that's nice. Okay. I mean, here there's already kind of a path, so it's kind of useless, but... We can definitely make often... Uh, alien crop circles in the game. Are alien crops an American thing, or is that also in Canada? I think it's a thing. I mean, I feel like it's most like an American <laughs> thing. Like myth, or like, you know... But I've definitely heard of that kind of stuff in Canada too. When I feel like when I was a kid, that was like a big, I don't know. I mean, I would see that in like TV shows and stuff, but I've never heard of that like in real life actually. Or just like online or like, yeah. Yeah, I think it's maybe more of an American thing actually. All right, so this is our new biome. Actually, I'm here now. And so I need to find the iron or silver, the thing we saw. Oh, there. There it is. Iron depot. Oh, spike saw requires upgrade. I need to upgrade my saw for that. Uh, maybe there's gonna be new crops. Oh yeah. Pro maze. So that's gonna be kind of like a alien corn. Let me see if I can find more. Yeah, there's not, there's not a lot. Let's get some copper. And then maybe I can go home. It's been a while, it's been a while since we went home. Oh, you know what, let me go check that radio tower first. That radio, where is that? Oh, I don't think you can see it. There's a yellow thing there. Yeah, maybe I should go home first, and then we can go try to do that quest. Some more carrot, carrot seeds. Can never have too many seeds. All right, let's sprint. I always forget to sprint. I don't, I don't know if there's a way to like sprint automatically. I feel like I'm always... Like you can sprint, but I feel like I can always forget to do it. Toggle sprint. Oh, it is toggle. 
So I just need to do it once. Oh yeah, you do it once, but you have to do once. Like you have to do it every time, right? You don't have to hold it, but you still have to press every time. So I always forget. North Americans also worship the spaghetti monster, or maybe it's a fairy tale. I've never heard of the spaghetti monster. What's that? What is that? All right, I've got some blue flowers. Let's put them together. And then we've got some white ones. Nice. And then, oh yeah, we have lots, lots of things to harvest. Oh, lots of weeds to, to pick up. I wish when you increase the vacuum, I wish like the radius of the vacuum would, I feel like I increased my vacuum and I can like restore more areas like pick up the, the weeds in other areas. But I feel like it's not actually more powerful. You know what I mean? I feel like it's not harvesting crops faster than before. All right, so now it's water. Please. Oh yeah, it does a three by three thing. Plant our corn. Our carrots, our cabbage. All right, let me refill, refill my water. At least, yeah, at least there's an option to toggle, but yeah, you still have to press every time. Are there different biomes in this game? Everything looks foresty. If that yeah, I mean, every area is like a slightly... Like pine heights are gonna have more pine trees. Like, you're gonna have like hardwood. And like every every area is gonna have like different... Slightly different resources, like new ores and everything. Like the yellow forest looks more yellowy. But it's still mostly like... Everything is very similar actually, yeah. It does have like different biomes, but it's not like major differences. Yeah, it could be nice to have a little bit more variety. I saw there's like another big one there and then there's another island. So maybe the, the other island will be more different. I have no idea. Oh yeah, so far yeah, I'm enjoying the game. It's not like a game changing, like life changing game, but it's still, it's still pretty fun. But yeah, keep in mind it's just early access. So I'm sure it will get better as time goes on. There's gonna be more stuff as time goes on, right? I really wanna see automation. I don't know if they'll add that though. I don't know if that's in their plan. I want bigger chests too. I need bigger chests. All right, so let's go. Let's go check that uh, waypoint. Oops. I didn't realize. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> you can't swim. You can't swim in the water. Oh my gosh. I'm so clumsy. doesn't go there it's kind of hard sometimes to because you can't see on the map where that point is i think it's probably in the yellow forest does the game does the game feel like every day is the same i mean it is a little bit samey like you will pretty much the whole gameplay loop is you grow some 
crops you craft some upgrades and then once you have your upgrades you go in the new area to clean it up once you clean up an area you will unlock new resources that will spawn in that area so then you're gonna unlock um yeah get more upgrades and then go to an another another area so it is kind of samey uh yeah so every day does feel quite similar like so far i've been playing for 20 days like but as, as you guys have seen there's not like I've, I've done a few different things but like every day is not a whole new adventure right overall it's pretty much the same thing I think if you've played the demo, you will have a pretty good idea of, of what it's like. Um, there's definitely more like crafting recipes and stuff than in the demo, but still, the gameplay loop is mostly the same. Oops. Can you adjust the length of the... No, you can't. That's one thing I wish I could do. Because, yeah, I feel like... I feel like it's nighttime too much. <laughs> I feel like there's too much... Too much night. I want to see more daylight. And when, when it's daytime, it's raining all the time. So I, I wish it was a little bit more sunny. But it's definitely a game I will keep playing and, like... Especially as it gets up updates and stuff. Keep an eye out on. Oh, can I clean those? These are the missing... Missing slimes and stuff I was looking for earlier. So with that, I should be able to... Yes, the whole region is restored. Once again, laugh returns. Nice work. I just realized so tomorrow there should be new new things here. There were a few other models, like nimble, I gotta go up there. How can I go there? And so on. I was built to last. The others. But one by one, their signals went out. It was a hundred or so years ago when the last one went down. I think this game is more fun with multiplayer. You can definitely play it solo, but it's more fun with multiplayer. I grind yet, right? I've not tried the multiplayer yet, but I can't imagine how it would be different, right? Um, I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's so close. Ah. Uh, oh, maybe if I drown, maybe I'm going to spawn back. Are you a robot or a person in a mech? You are? Oh, yeah, I did. You are someone in a mech, so you can go out of your mech uh, at any time. But there's not too much to do once you're out. Like, you can paint stuff. That's pretty much the only thing you can do outside of your mech that you can't do inside is, like, painting. Oh, Peyton's Corner rated you with a party of 47 viewers. Peyton, hi. Hi, hi, hi. I saw you guys were playing that as well. Oh, Robot Slut strutting in. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome to Lightyear Frontier. I'm sure you guys saw a bunch of the... A lot of, most of the... What there is to see already, but... Welcome in. Welcome to all of our new followers. Nice to have you guys... So now I'm trying to go to that waypoint and I'm getting lost. It's so easy to get lost in this game. Welcome everybody. I'm also streaming on YouTube. Doing the same as Peyton, YouTube and Twitch, everything. 
everything at once. Polly, nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good, Polly. It's been a long time. Long time no see. Pay rated you on YouTube too. Oh, did we get rated everywhere? Paid and thank you so much. Thank you so much. Are we? It's hard to see the raids on YouTube, right? Multi-platform raid. Oh my gosh, everywhere. Yeah, I don't know. On YouTube, they're harder to see. You don't get like it. There, it's not as obvious. It's not as obvious. Maybe we should do a raid. I, I feel like I don't do raids a lot. I think Sarah, Sarah Sunstone is going to, uh, maybe she, is she streaming now? I think we can go take a look at her after, after that. Our friend Sarah, we sent the YouTube viewers there and the Twitch viewers. Thank you so much. I hope you had a fun time. Oh, I think, oh, finally, this, the daylight, the sun is back. The sun is here. Okay. I think, how do you get there? How do you go there? Welcome to all of our new followers on Twitch. Feel free to leave a like on YouTube as well. Leave a like if that's not already done. Leave a subscribe if that's not already done. Okay. I think I'm getting getting close to that thing. It's so hard. No, no, I'm 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 lost. I am so lost. I don't know if I can climb. Can I climb here? Oh, maybe I can't. Oh, maybe I, oh, no. Nope. I hate to raid and run, but I have to start work, sadly, but love to see you multi-streaming and hope you enjoy light here. Thank you, I hope you're enjoying it. Enjoy your work. Have a fun. I can't believe you're doing everything plus work. I don't know how you do it. Ah. I don't know how Peyton does it, guys. I don't know how she does it. It seems like she's always doing so much at once. Oh my gosh. I lose my mind on the daily, but thank you. Yellow forest. Okay, let's go back to the yellow forest. And let's go. Yeah, neither do we, right? That's impressive. Such an inspiration. Yeah. Because I've been doing this full time, but I still feel like... I still feel like I don't do enough. <laughs> so, just two more regions left to restore. So, let's go check. Let's go back to the yellow forest. Well, I guess we are kind of there now, but... Let's go see if there's some new resources that we can get. Okay, not here. Let's go see if there's some exciting stuff. You are doing amazing, amazing, Josh. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm doing not too bad, like, to be fair. Um, okay, how do I go there? You know what? Let me go here. I'm going to go by the beach. I think that's the easiest way to go in, inside the forest. Uh, Josh, what games are you playing on your own time? That's if you have any free time to play just for... Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> I don't have that much free time. So right now, I play mostly like farming games. Um, yeah, I, most games I play, I play them for like reviews and stuff. So I don't play that much outside of that. Um, yeah, recently I've been playing Secrets of Grindia. I guess this one is not really like a farming game. Even though there are... There's not that much like life sim elements actually in it. So I've been playing that, but I've not had time to play it this week actually. I'm I'm like at the last boss. I'm like at the very end of the game. But I've not had time. I need to take the time. But yeah, this week is kind of busy and I'm going away for packs. So yeah, I wanna finish Secrets of Grindia. So I, I guess that's what, that's the game I've been playing the most recently. You're one of the only two YouTubers I watch streaming. And if you stream at the same time, I always choose yours. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> that is so sweet to hear. 
The Restore Ring reminds me of growing Song of the Ever Tree, one of the first games I own on Steam, kind of new to Steam. Right? It does feel... Yeah, that was a fun game. I played it... Well... It was kind of cute. It was fun, but it didn't keep me interested for that long. Oh, I need to feed those guys. I thought they were resources. They're animals. It was a fun game. I really loved how it looked. But I guess it was like kind of repetitive. I don't know. I don't remember why I stopped playing it. Oh, that, that's new. That's a new crop. Zapper twigs. Oh, compost box. So we can make compost now. By the way, I think I'm getting close to the area I've been trying to go to. I think we're getting close. Oh yeah, we are. Finally. Oh, and we've got some new ores. I don't think I'll be able to get those, right? They're they're probably gonna tell me I need yeah, I need an upgrade. Oh yeah, we got Finally I've been wanting to go here. If you need a friend on grind, yeah, you know who to call. Yeah, Miggy, I wanna I wanna finish it. I know you've already finished the game, but I'm gonna need your help. Near to clear oh I need to clear the area. Well yeah, whenever I have time to play it, I will let you know. Good morning, just woke up. Prince Easel, nice to see you. I hope you're doing good. Oh, now I need to... Eight copper ores. Hardwood, aluminum frames, aluminum electronics. So, 12 hardwoods. Can I, like, tag, pin this somehow? I just need to remember it. Can I remember it? Uh, let's go home. Okay, so, hardwood, frame, electronics, or copper. Okay, so let's go home. Where's home? Oh, there. Never played that one, although uh, same issue. At 40 hours, the first game I bought was Wildermit. Wildermite? Not a cozy game, but cozy to me. Oh, I've, I don't think I've ever heard of it. I know Wildmander. I mean, that's probably different. Uh, Wildermite, I've never heard of it. Wildermit. Sorry, Wildermit. Sorry, my English. <laughs> uh, Alright, so. Wilder. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, I can't speak English. Okay, alright. So, anyway. Let's go home. Oh, and it's on sale. Wildermit is on sale. Yeah, so many, so much stuff on sale. I'm trying not to look at those, at those team sales, cause there's nothing. I know there's nothing I really need, so I'm trying to, trying to stay away. Your English is better than mine. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, could be worse. All right, so, so many weeds. I'm looking forward to that fertilizer to see how that's gonna work. So I have almost all the recipes now. Yeah, I feel like I don't know why. I feel like this game's gonna be short, right? I have almost all the crafting recipes for certain in certain categories at least. Uh, all right. So now compost box. I need polyberry oil and I need wood. Let's get some more wood because I don't think I have a lot. I think March and the forest could also be something for Josh. Oh, I've never heard of that. I've not heard of that game. English is also my second language, but I feel like I often make grammatical errors. Josh's English is amazing. Yeah, well, I feel like I've been using English for a long time now, so. But still, there are still times when I, like, mispronounce, <laughs> mispronounce stuff. And I've been, like, working in English. That helps, too. I feel like I've been working in English for a long time. 
And now I live somewhere where I don't use my French anymore. I feel like even when I have to speak French, like, I feel like I'm kind of lo not losing it. I'm not like losing my French, but like sometimes I speak with my family and like, I'm trying not to use like English words, <laughs> but sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard. Uh, stone dust. Oh, I think I probably ha I can make more blue paint now. Why does Nintendo and Microsoft close their stores? What do you mean? Uh, the vocabulary escapes over time. Exactly, it's the vocabulary that, like, you lose some more. You forget some words. I mean, it comes back quickly, but. This looks pretty, I like it. It's such a good looking game. If you need a French buddy, don't hesitate to write, speak to me. Homie, thank you. Yeah, even like when I send you, <laughs> I always feel bad because I know you speak French like I do. But like even when I send you a message, I always write it in English because that's what I'm used like. That's what I'm used to now. So I feel like, like I feel like I should talk to you in French, right? But I don't do it. It's not that I don't. I'm not. It's not that I'm like. You know, anyway. <laughs> It's not like voluntary, but I mean, I guess it is. I don't know. I don't know. I hope you don't. <laughs> I, I I don't want to make anyone like upset. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, it's okay too. I met my boyfriend's parents this weekend and spoke French the whole time, and it was exhausting learning a second language and speaking it for a few hours. It's so mentally taxing. It it is because you have to like concentrate all the time to like figure out the words and the grammar and like try to not make too many mistakes and like it is hard. People who doesn't speak a second or third language don't know what a mess are our thoughts, right? Even sometimes now when I think, I find myself like thinking in English more now. Sometimes both. Sometimes I think like I tell myself like one sentence and then the next sentence in my head is like in French. It's always changing. Uh, all right, so now build the radio tower. Actually, let's build the compost box. Oh, I need zapper twig. Oh, oh yeah, I need to build my, oh yeah. Okay, so many things. Uh, I need to... Um, I thought it was polyberry oil. It's zapper twig oil. So let me... Oh, yeah, I need to make clay so that I can make more fields. Uh, to make clay, I need more stone dust. Okay, that was four. Oops. Okay, let's sleep. Do you think it's going to be raining tomorrow? It's been raining so much. I'm Dutch, but with some of my Dutch friends, half of the conversations is in English. Also, words just feel more accurate in the other language. Yeah, sometimes there's no word to... Sometimes a certain word is just in one language or like... There's like a little nuance. Nuance. Clay. So we have a French group to keep up with our French. That would be nice. Actually, there's lots of like French people on Discord too. I don't know a second language, but I never knew about thoughts being in a different language that I have ADHD. That would be a nightmare. Yeah. Even like when I lived in Japan, because I lived there for like two years and something. Like sometimes I would start, it was kind of a way to practice too, but sometimes I would find myself like thinking like in Japanese, even though it was my third language, like I was not like fluent in it, but I was still like finding myself thinking in it. But yeah, now it's just like English and French. But 
At my job, I work with a lot of people from India. They talk a lot in Punjabi, but will throw in English words when speaking. Oh. So do you speak Punjabi or do you just speak? You just understand the English words, right? You lived in Japan. That is so cool. Yeah, I used to, I did like a working holiday. Like in Canada, we have, uh, with like certain countries, we have like a working holiday. So you can do like working holiday visa, you can work and like live there. So I did that for a year. And then I went as a student for like a year and a half. Yeah. And I also worked as a student. When I was a student, I also worked. Yeah. So I did a lot of stuff. But yeah, that was fun. I kind of miss it. I kind of miss it because, I mean, Canada is fun. Canada is fine, but sometimes... Sometimes I'm craving something else, you know? Alright, so now... Sorry, you had to work as a student. I know that's right. Yeah, I wish I could just... <laughs> I wish I could have been just a student, but yeah. I'll... You got you gotta gotta do what you gotta do to survive, right? But I'm glad I'm glad I was able to live abroad. Like I'm glad I was able to do that. Do you think you might go back, uh, live in Quebec someday? The thing is, like I like Toronto. I mean, it's not that much warmer, but Quebec is so cold. I don't know. <laughs> the winters, like the winters are milder in Toronto. So I, that's the thing I don't like too much about Canada. Like sometimes I wish like, sometimes I wish Canada had an island. Like, you know, like the US has like Hawaii. I wish Canada had something like that where like I could move there easily and like be somewhere warm. But yeah, Canada doesn't have any warm island anywhere so <laughs> yeah i wish i wish it had like some place warmer i could move to easily but yeah sometimes i would love to like go back to quebec to be like closer with closer to my family i feel like that would be the biggest closer to my family and like the culture and everything but i don't know it's just cold it's just cold. And it's cheaper too. Like Ontario is more expensive, I feel like. Especially like Toronto. I guess everywhere is getting more expensive now, but... I think like rent and like... Montreal or like... If I went back to Quebec, because my family is not from Montreal, I don't, I don't, I would probably not go to Montreal. I don't know. I don't know where I would go. Because like where my family is is like even colder. It's like really like up north, like really kind of like really up north. Nice and there's not much to do where they're from, where they live. So I wouldn't go there. But I don't know. I don't know, but maybe, I, maybe I'm going to move somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to stay in Toronto my whole life. I feel like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. What should I do with my life? Canada got colder. Germany is getting hotter. I miss white Christmas. I mean, I feel like it's definitely like getting warmer like compared to like when I was a kid. I feel like there's not as much snow maybe as when I was a kid. But... Uh, like for example in Toronto this year well I've only been in Toronto for a few years so I can't compare with like 20 years ago but like this year there was not too much snow but like definitely in my hometown there's still like so much snow sending you Caribbean song Clary I'm jealous Trois Rivières is a nice place Preaching for the choir, as they say. 
I don't know too much. I've never been there. I've never been there. One of the places I went to during vacation, it was over $6 per gallon of fuel for cars. Ooh. I don't know about gallons. I don't know. That doesn't... It's hard for me to... I'm used to letters, so I don't know. Is that expensive? Uh, I need to get... Oh, yeah. I needed hardwood, right? And copper. And aluminium frames and electronics. Oops, let me keep that. I'm gonna have to organize my chest eventually. I know I say that in every game, but... Uh, did I need copper wire? I think I did. Or was it copper ore? I know it was copper something. Hardwood. I know I needed frames. Let's do like five frames. And okay, let's put some stuff away. Six per liter of fuel is very expensive. Yeah. Uh, in Calgary, it's 140. I see. I haven't driven. I haven't driven for so long. Yeah, 140 is not too bad, right? Was it? Is it not too bad? I think it used to be like closer to two dollars, right? At one point. All right. So let's let's do something. Uh, let's, um, oh yeah, I need to find hardwood. So I'm going to go in that pine, pine forest. I think that's where you can find hardwood. Send me cold Toronto energy and I will send you hot island weather from the Philippines. I would love to trade. That sounds, so, sounds like such a lovely trade. It's from one of the lowest, if not the lowest price. I remember moving to Calgary, it was like 80 cents, right? Changes, it <laughs> It went so much higher. Oh, that's softwood, actually. That is softwood, that's not what I need. Maybe, the, maybe those ones? Those green trees? I think that's just regular. We're getting old, right? Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, it was definitely like under under a dollar. Yeah, where's the hardwood? So it's not here. So here's softwood and regular. Oops. Uh, do you think that pine forest is fine? Oh, pine, fine. <laughs> There's a lack of dad jokes recently. We need Mike in the chat. Yeah, right. I hope Mike is doing good. I know he had COVID and we have not seen him in a few weeks. I know he was sick. I hope he's fine. I hope. When I, whenever I know, like, yeah, I hope he's fine. I'm always worried when like someone doesn't show up in like a few weeks. I'm always thinking they're probably just busy. Like my most rational thinking is like they're just busy and like they didn't have time to like watch YouTube or like Twitch or anything. But then there's also another part of me that's like, did I say something that offended them? Did I say something wrong to them? Like are they like <laughs> like did i do something wrong like one part of me always thinks that or like the other part is also like did they get like really sick like are they had a hospital are they like in a critical situation like i don't know i don't know what's happening so i hope mike i hope you're doing fine mike i hope he's doing fine 
I used to think I'd love to live in a hot climate, but I've come to realize that I really appreciate winter's ability to keep insects to a minimum. I hate bugs and couldn't deal with them in a hot climate. Yeah, that's the thing too. For me personally, I don't mind most bugs. It's just spiders that I don't like. So I wouldn't want to live somewhere with like big spiders. When I like when I lived in Japan, I was actually not too bad because I was in Tokyo, so like I was in the city, so there was not. I mean, we had like cockroaches and stuff, but there was not too many like huge spiders, you know. But that that would be the only. I think I could deal with it though. Like I would have to just. I would have to just like learn to live with it. Stay away from Australia. Yeah, Australia is. I would love to visit Australia at one point. But I've heard so many, like, I've seen so many videos of, like, yeah, too, I've seen too much stuff. <laughs> I've seen too much stuff. I'm kind of scared. But I, I would love to go to Australia one day, though. I hate summer. Winter is more nice, though. I get more sick with the winter weather. Yeah, I like, I like having four seasons. Like, I like autumn. Autumn is my favorite. I like spring, too. I like to see snow from time to time, but... Alright, so now... Oh, it didn't add... Oh, I was too Testing, close to it. Oh, it's all done! One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Oh! He wants like a lot of stuff, oh, like uh, deliveries, right? Like five oil for 500, 150 wheat for 10,000, a lump bloom, I have no idea. But the thing is, I don't know what to do with the money because there is not that many exciting stuff in the shop. You are too wholesome, Josh. You're, you radiate positive vibes. I don't think you offend your viewers. I know, but sometimes I'm always scared that... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I always, like... I don't know. And I know Mike is not, like... I don't think he's, like, someone, like, super, like, sensitive. But I'm always scared of, like, saying something wrong. Like, I always just say, like, whatever I think. But sometimes I'm scared that I'm going to say something to offend someone. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we built a tower. So now we have some missions here. And I think we're gonna go home and then wrap it up. Cause I have, I have to prepare for a whole meeting that I have uh, a little bit later this afternoon. So I have to do some, to do some preparation so I can't stretch the stream for too long. But it's been so fun to have a first look at this game. I hope you guys, oh, I can uh, break this, have some water. Some purple water. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed having a first look at this game. Well, first look. We played a demo a while ago, so it's not like first, first look, but... My thoughts are mostly the same as in the demo. Like, there's more crafting recipes. There's more... There's a little bit more stuff to do than the demo, but the gameplay loop is the same, right? So, I do recommend you guys... Apparently, the demo is still on Steam, so I strongly recommend you check out the demo and see if you like it. It's really beautiful. Like, look at that sky look at those planets it's a really beautiful game but yeah it's early access i feel like i kind of wish us I, I feel like automation would complete this game if there was a way to like automate stuff yeah it feels like i don't know i feel like i'm almost done i don't know it feels like something's missing something's missing but maybe it's just because it's early access we are raiding. Yes, I wanted to see. Um, I wanted to see if Sarah Sunstone. I think she was, or we can raid someone else too. I think she was gonna play today. Maybe we can raid her. She's not on Twitch, so we can't raid on Twitch, but we can raid on YouTube. Okay, let me do that. Save and quit. I'm so hungry. I need to eat. I need to eat something quickly. How does this rating work? 
You know what, Pauline? That is a really good question. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let me just uh, quit the game. Wait. Let me just figure this out. I've not done it. Uh, I've not done a lot of raids. So let's figure out how it works. Let's figure this out. We should do it. Give some, give, give back some love, you know? Uh, I think... Oh, Meruko-chan, thank you so much for following. Oh, no, she's not live. Oh, I don't know anyone who's live. Who should we raid? I didn't even know raids were possible on YouTube. They are. I think there is a message. I think there's, there's, there's a, like an official feature to... But, okay, let me check something. Yeah, I'm trying to... I don't know anyone who's live. That's the thing. I, I, I don't know a lot of people. <laughs> I don't know a lot of people. I thought Sarah Sunstone was going to be live. Maybe next time... Yeah, I can't find anyone who's live. And like on YouTube, it's kind of hard to find people who are live. So anyway, thank you so much. Thank you again to Peyton for rating us earlier. And thank you for everybody, who, everybody who's following. Everybody who enjoyed the stream on twitch and youtube and everything everywhere yeah thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you don't want to miss out more upcoming streams we're gonna check out stardew valley soon tomorrow is story of seasons saturday so i'm not sure which one we're gonna play yet but we're gonna play some story of seasons or harvest moon game tomorrow so we're gonna be doing that and yeah thank you so much guys and i'll see you all next time bye